Everton have today been linked with a move for Arsenal forward Eddie Nketiah. The 25-year-old is thought to be uh, open to leaving the Emirates this summer due to not being in Mikel Arteta's first choice uh, 11. Nketiah featured 35 times for Arsenal in all competitions last season and scored six goals. He's at the age now where he needs a move. Everton registered an interest, apparently. Uh, West Ham have been linked with him too. Uh, the Blues are looking for a centre-forward, obviously, in um, anticipation of Dominic Calvert-Lewin leaving the football club. Doesn't look like Dom is going to stay in Everton. Now. Trying to line up uh, replacements. Enketi is not exactly the same type of striker as Dom. He's got good movements, clever around a penalty here. He was not really a back-to-goal striker the way Calvert-Lewin is, so... You know, Evan have had other links with uh, David Datro for Fana, Armando Breuer over the last couple of days, and, and Ketia is the latest one. Marseille, very interested in taking him as well and thought to be preparing a bid of around €21 million Euros for the striker. Uh, Everton target Jaden Philogene has flown out to Turkey to join up with Hull City on their pre-season, uh, part of their pre-season uh, training. There's other clubs that are interested, of course, Aston Villa and Ipswich, Crystal Palace too. It had looked as though Philogene would be completing the move to one of those clubs when he didn't go out with the uh, official party, didn't travel out with the official Hull party. And it was thought he was staying back to complete that move. Aston Villa seemed to be in pole position yesterday. But this uh, this transfer has been confused um, a little bit more by the fact that Philogene has now gone out and joined up with Hull City. They've been adamant that they don't have to sell him. And if the player wants to remain at the football club, then they're happy to keep him. So maybe he's just gone over to have a few more days before he makes his decision. But... Uh, very, very interesting, this one, because it does seem to be switching from one club to the next about where he will be moving to. So uh, he's out in Turkey with his team, uh, his teammates, so we'll see what happens there. Jordan Pickford won his 67th England cap last night as England beat the Netherlands to reach the uh, European Championship final against Spain on Sunday night. It's back-to-back -back Euro finals for Pickford and England, a tremendous achievement. Uh, Ollie Watkins' 89th minute and 59th second goal was enough to take Gareth Southgate's uh, men in to Sunday's final at the expense of Virgil van Dijk and his teammates. Uh, Ronald Koeman, of course, former Everton manager, was a little bit upset at the final whistle, but hey-ho, you shouldn't have uh, not bought us a striker when you were our manager. Uh, and former Everton players James Rodriguez and Yeri Mina are through to the final of the Copa America. They beat Uruguay 1-0 last night. James with another assist. His corner was headed in by Crystal Palace midfielder Jefferson Lerma six minutes before the break. It was a fiery match which saw... Liverpool striker Darwin Nunes trying to throw a chair at fans who were, were um, reportedly causing issues for his family and other family members. He was also pictured there in the middle of the crowd trying to get to them. So unsavoury scenes at the end of that one. But they go into Sunday night's final against world champions Argentina. Uh, Hammers the player of the tournament. So I think he's got four man of the matches in their games so far. He's uh, been pulling the strings for Colombia as uh, the former Everton forward. That is it for the news daily. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, if you want to become a Toffee TV Premier member, the link is in the description. QR codes on the screen now. See you later.